Welcome to Life Mastery Radio with Todd Allen and Jackie Bailey, the show that dives into the science of higher consciousness with inspiring topics such as abundance, intention, health, manifestation, love, and transformation. Join Todd, Jackie, and their guests of leading authors, speakers, coaches, and entrepreneurs weekly at 10 a.m. Pacific. Learn to live a peaceful life with intentional mastery. It's all right here with stories and messages to support your well-being and most evocative dreams. Now, here's your hosts, Todd and Jackie. Hey, 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 welcome to the show. Guess what? It's another groovy day, and most of you know that's because I make it that way. When I get up in the morning, I decide it's going to be a groovy day, and guess what? The rest of the day just falls into place. Now, something might change, something might happen, something might throw me off track a little bit, but I always think back. I start out groovy. How can we turn this around, or how can I... How can I not react and, and just kind of ease into it and make it groovy? And it us- it works. It doesn't usually work. It just works. That's the way it works. And you can work it too. All you got to do is try it. Try it. You'll like it. As always, I have my co-host with me today, and she's all purpley. Hi, yeah, Jackie. Kind of, kind of pinky purple. Yeah. Pink yeah. and purple? You know, Tuesday is pink day, according to Indian tradition. Really? Yeah, Tuesday is a day that it's like the lucky color of the week. Tuesday. There you go. <laughs> uh, I didn't wear my pink today. Darn it. <laughs> How are things in Jackie's world? You got a lot of cool things going on and teaching kids how to do stuff. I I saw on Facebook that you are speaking at a parents conference. What did I see? What did you see? Yes, I am part of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm involved in the, I'm, the last three weeks. I know I can't keep supposed to be can't. sort of a break for me before school started again. And I got my classes going, but it hasn't been that way. So I am going to be doing a monthly webinar, a workshop for a family education series through the amazing parent network. And uh, Dr. Ali Lankrani and I partner on putting these together. And so I'm going to be presenting how to empower a child, including the child in you. So it will be given to parents and adults, but you'll also be taught not only how to empower your own voice, but how to ask your kids the right questions so that they talk to you (laughs) and so that you get to learn their their motivating factors or the times when they get demotivated what happens there and so you can learn more about your kids and have more meaningful relationships so what is it that you're presenting about what is it i'm helping parents to learn how to reach their inner child as well as reach the children that are in their own home i get it i got it i got it (laughs) i i was I was distracted by posting the video. Oh, gotcha. (laughs) So you tuned out for a second. I tuned out just for a second, but usually I catch it, but it's it's a new thing now because it it pops up in the corner, Facebook, and then you can copy the link and it's not as complicated. And so I just, I've never seen that before. It's kind of cool. The world is just getting more and more efficient every day. It's either getting more and more efficient every day or it's getting more and more complicated. And all I have to do is keep up and I, I got to just at least do some of it. Yeah, I know. It's like just when you get used to the way things are, <laughs> <laughs> then they change again. And it's I'm finding it harder to learn new things as I get older. I don't know if I'm the only one, but <laughs> you know, you know what I'm finding here lately. I've been noticing this is that I just stay away from. It. <laughs> it's just like whatever. I, I, of course, I'm restoring a 1952 Chevy pickup, and that takes a lot of my mental process. I've never done this before. I'm doing it from the ground up. I mean, I started with the bare frame, and I'm slowly putting this thing back together again. Learning a lot. But it takes up a lot of my, well, a lot of my tinker time. But you know me, I like to tinker. So it, uh, oh, I know. Well, but that's well, for a couple of hours and tinker. So fun. It's like you're recreating something and at the same time creating it. I remember refurnishing a lot of furniture mm. when years ago we owned a Victorian home. 
And so we were doing a lot of antiquing and buying this beautiful furniture that needed to be refinished to some degree. And I remember how fun those projects were. Yeah. And so I, I am a little bit jealous that you've got a project like that going on. <laughs> I nice. think, I think so is my girlfriend, my kids, <laughs> certainly my dogs, my chickens don't care too much. My cats really don't care about my dogs too. <laughs> Yeah. anyway maybe we'll talk to natalie our guest about that today i want to remind our listeners that today's show page is at www.lifemasteryradio.net or .com whichever one you prefer you can go there any links that we talk about there's a real special link with our guest today that will be there about a retreat that she has coming up so more news at 11 stay tuned and while you're on our website, check out my book. There's a link there to my book, Six Keys to Life Mastery. And you can go there and read it, love it, leave me some feedback. Jackie has a book too. Well, she's got a couple of books and now she's got another one cooking. So I better get off, Next I better get off my yeah. duff. <laughs> she's also been in compilation, compilations. Yeah, that's kind of the new thing, compilation books. So yeah. uh, kind of hard cool. notes. Heart Notes is my first compilation book, and then I'm going to be in, oh, what's it going to be called? Um, something about families in the next compilation book. And then we're doing one for our students as well. So uh, each it seems to me like you're moving more different. toward family education now, too. I, is that? I, you know, in, so, in some pathways, yes. I mean, we're still offering courses for kids, but what right. I've seen is the dynamic shift that takes place in the whole family when even the child is feeling more empowered. Very cool. And when the child comes home and they have more skills in conversation, they feel more confident to speak up about things, it changes for the whole family. And so now the kids are going, but okay, so now I know how to talk to my parents, but they're so busy on their phones, they're not talking to me. So now I'm like, okay, now we need to talk with the parents and get them so cool. knowing how to have more conversations with that's people. how we make a change that's how right. one step at a time and we just i almost want to say you infect the little ones that and then the, that just spreads and it's it's all good i don't want to use that kind of language in a pandemic right? i know <laughs> that's just the thing that came to my mind indoctrinate no that's not no, a good word either, either. <laughs> okay i'll stop all empowering this. how about that? empower there you go that's a good choice <laughs> all righty i think this is your guest today yeah. so ding 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 you know what that means you have the introduction take it away jackie yeah. bailey ba natalie bailey. and i reconnected i don't know maybe six seven months ago or so we had a good conversation and and i said yeah you gotta be back on the show and she was delighted because she's actually got a retreat coming up that we're going to be talking about and so it's a great time to have her on to talk about that and if you don't remember, Natalie's story is very interesting. In 1997, she fired her boss <laughs> and left her life in Paris to follow her first big dream that was actually to open a restaurant in the Phoenix area. Uh, she discovered how to remove unconscious hidden blocks and activate human potential and accelerate higher success impact and freedom. Who doesn't want all of those things? Natalie is an internationally renowned energy master. She's an intuitive and a business alchemist. All of those are awesome titles. In the past two decades, she's worked with over 11,000 people in 22 countries. Natalie's success acceleration system and design your freedoms program have generated millions of dollars and created a strong impact and time freedom for her clients. So I wanna be one of her clients. I could use all of those things. <laughs> and like I said, she's got a retreat coming up at the end of September and first part of October, and we're gonna get into that. But welcome back, Natalie Ikobo. It's great thank you. Us. Thank you, thank you. Bonjour, bonjour. Oh. <laughs> well, you it's still got that French. Life. French going. You just came back from France, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. I spent two months in France and and a, and a few days in Switzerland. Yeah. Wow. Do you still have siblings that live there or other family members? I have family members. My entire family is there. Um, my husband's family. Everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. And then I had clients too. So you know, I just oh, cool. 
I just love it to do like VIP days or meetings and, and see some of my students and clients there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because of the pandemic, you were doing a lot of things virtually, right? No. Yes. Yeah. Well, I've always worked virtually, even okay. way, way before that. I, you know, when Zoom did not exist, I was already on Skype. So uh, <laughs> I've always done it. But um, there is there is this special magic, of course, when you can hug someone. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, as France. So in the United States, we pretty much. There's gurglings and and inclinations but pretty much everything's back to normal i mean you know there are some certain things is france the same way or are they still well, being cautious when, when i was there it 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 changed actually in the, in the scope of those two months because uh there was this new variant that was kind of contami contaminating a lot of people. So, <laughs> so it went from, oh, no mask, no nothing, no, to, oh, yes, you need to follow the stuff. And then they put the, they have like a sanitary pass and then they, re they reintroduced that for just a few weeks. And then they didn't, you know, I mean, it's, it's also mixed with, um, you know, like political things where, that's the, the biggest thing. Yeah. You know, the, the, the people that govern there in France, they sometimes they want to be looked at one way or another or be 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 nice or be, you know, so or be effective. So it, depending it, on, on what the image they want to give, then they they put some rules on, you know. So yeah. isn't, isn't that the ego throwing in a lot of fear, mixing it all up? Well, is that what's people. happening everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> have you watched the media <laughs> exactly who do you believe what do you believe i you know what i i just shut it off i yeah me too yeah. so then there I, really hasn't been a lot of differences politically between what's happening in france and what's been happening in the u.s as far as oh i mean it's a little different version because it's a different culture but it's all the same really i mean it's all it's all you know i mean the yeah. world has become a smaller <laughs> place, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Very cool. But it's, so, it, so it was, but it was easy to go, to go in um, to France, like easier than than last year and, and the year before, of course. And um, right. and then it was easy to to Come go back. out and re-enter the country in the U.S. So so oh, that was yeah. nice, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mask on planes. Mask, mask on planes. Yeah. But you know what? We got COVID coming back. Yeah. Really? Well, there are certain variants that are. You know, yeah. And and it was very mild. I mean, really, we, we've we've been very blessed and uh, and fortunate. It, you know, it, it was not so so deep, but uh, but yeah, we got it, and we probably got it somewhere in the airport or in on the plane or. Oh whatever, right. You know. Mm. So. Yeah, I have a feeling it's going to be around for a while, but yeah. I think that we got a good handle on what it takes to not let us let it affect us so much. Well, and before COVID, you know, if we had gotten sick on a plane after a trip, we wouldn't have thought anything about it because it was almost expected, right? Yeah, 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 <laughs> totally. But totally. now that there's Absolutely. COVID, where everybody's sort of on a little bit of hyper. Yeah, there, and I've often been sick after after taking planes like that. You know, I mean, yeah. I am exposed to so much, yeah. and 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 your know, twelve hours. I mean, or eleven hours. I mean, I I take so I I do Phoenix to to LA and then LA to Paris, and and you're eleven hours in a plane with people. Yeah. So right. how can you not exchange some germs? Right. <laughs> Well, it's probably a good thing that that happens too, because then you're exposed to it all, right? There isn't. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's new in Natalie's world? You're still working with people. I, I know what my question is. <laughs> so, so, question, Todd. What's so, your question, Todd? <laughs> now I'm scared. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm really into alchemy and, and, you know, you, you, build yourself out as a business alchemist and, and what does that mean i mean alchemy to me is you take dull and dingy things and turn them into gold right yeah. i mean that's pretty much the, well, the metaphor exactly of it yeah mm -hmm. and and so how do you help people in business and entrepreneurs what maybe give us an example or or what is it that you help them with? well so 
we we take all the muck and the you know the lead and the <laughs> the heaviness and the whatever and we apply a few things we clear it out and then we activate the gold and then we create it so the way i work with people is a, is a partnership i don't do anything to them <laughs> but i do things with them right and without sending to woo woo i'd like to say um it's a collaboration where we're tapping into your higher self, if you will, the part of you that touches God, spirit, universe, the, you know, the, yeah, the, the whole universe, like the, the, your divine self, if you will. And this part of you and this part of me then connect together. And from that, that's where we, we create miracles. Hmm. So you're, you're talking to entrepreneurs or mm -hmm. business owners. Yeah. And first off, then it's sort of a, re, um, a discovery conversation. What's going on? What's yeah. not working? What's, what's been challenging? Yeah. Uh, you take a look at that. And so you're not necessarily, are you working with business plans or are you trying to change their perspective of things or, or open up a channel to receive more spiritual inspiration are you doing all of that the same yes thing? to all yes yes <laughs> to all. well okay I, see, here is the here is the thing guys i have an mba and i have extensive work in marketing and sales for for corporations in france and then i've created multiple businesses in the us and i am tapped in to source and I have the ability to remove people's blocks. And once again, I'm not doing that to them. They, they need to collaborate with me. Right. But when we partner up, I have the ability to see what they cannot see. We all have blind spots. We all don't know what we don't know. <laughs> and that's exactly what is preventing us from going to the next level. And you know the definition of insanity. If you keep doing the same old stuff all the time and keep expecting a different results, it's not going to happen. So at some point, we just need to pause and just admit that we don't know what we don't know and we cannot see what we cannot see. And that's when you call in someone like me to partner up and to have the humility to say, oh, well, okay, let's go find out what's buried under the carpet mm -hmm. and not to dwell into it not to roll into the gunk and and suffer but just to put it to the light have some awareness and boom let's shift it and when you've created some room and you've removed the discordant stuff right the frustration the heaviness the source of overwhelm, the source of confusion, the blocks to, to making more money, whatever is in the background there. Once you've removed that, then you have room and then you can activate positive potentials. Let me let me see if I if I have this right, because this is the way I understand it. We we trudge through life like we're hiking with a backpack and we put mm -hmm. it's all just stuff, right, yeah. Natalie? Yeah. And we put all this stuff in our backpack and we, and then eventually it gets so freaking heavy that we can't move forward anymore. Right. So a person like you comes along and I'm assuming this, but you can confirm with me and we take that backpack off and shake it out all over the ground and mix it up and kind of go through those things mm -hmm. and either get rid of them or decide, wait, this, this is really important to me. And, and so I want to put that back in, but we, like you said, we become lighter and we make more room for new stuff. Did yeah. I get it? Absolutely. How do you know that, that I say to people, we're going to clear your invisible backpack. Oh, <laughs> we're going to get rid Tom of it. Tuned in. <laughs> well, it's, it's, I'm a not metaphor. <laughs> it's a metaphor that I rationally, I came up with many, many years ago when I yeah. was in the, um, 
in the rooms of Alcoholics Anonymous, as a matter of fact. And it's just, you know, through my study, through my understanding, this is something that I came to understand that we did. And and it sounds like that's that's what you do. Yeah, that's one of the things. Uh, do, you, do you want to know another wild stuff since we're... <laughs> Let's we go. are Ooh, I like something it. really quick here before that. Todd, I think we lost our engineer because of the thunderstorms and it's no longer being recorded. Can you start the recording again? Oh, is that what we do? I, yeah. So just hit the button. That says there you go. And now he'll have at least. And I'll piece them together. Thank you for yeah. that. I did notice something going on, but I was in the middle of a sentence, so I didn't really. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> So you talked about the invisible backpack, right? And how it's getting heavier and heavier and how we can remove that and clear it out. And then we can put some more positive things in. There is another wild stuff that I do that is even wilder than or crazier than that. <laughs> I mean, and there are way more, but I'm not going to tell all, the, all of those. Oh, please do. <laughs> <the show>. <laughs> <laughs> but, but imagine this, and I've done this for people personally or in business. When people have issues with someone else in a relationship, and once again, it can be a business relationship or it can be a personal relationship. I have this image of we create, we have a relationship bag between us. Mm -hmm. And throughout our life, we are going to put some energies in. So we have different meetings and encounters and stuff. And we, we, we see each other a few times and we have good stuff happening. So we're happy. We have joy. We have, you know, we have knowledge. We have understanding. We have cooperation and everything, excitement and everything. And then we also have frustration, guilt, shame, and whatnot, right? Self-punishment and pushing others and pressure and things like this. So we all have our common relationship bag, let's say between you and me. And in life, maybe we have, we are at a point where communication is not working or we're not doing business the, the, the right way, or we would like to have something else, or we're frustrated, we have some kind of challenge in our relationship. What I do with my clients is I go into their relationship bag. And if you believe in past lives, not everybody does, but if you do, then you can imagine that this relationship bag goes from all the lives that you've, you've had together, right? Mm -hmm. um, I go into the relationship bag with these people and we remove everything that is discordant. We keep all the positive in, but we remove the frustration, we remove the guilt, we remove the shame, we remove the pressure that they push on someone else or someone else put on them. We, we remove all this and we leave all the positive in it. You cannot imagine the stories I've heard from just doing that. Wow. Like crazy, crazy stories. And I have lived it. I have done it for myself. A long, long time ago, I worked, I helped a, a friend uh, who was a CEO. And um, I, I was just, you know, I, I was training doctors and, uh, and um, nurses in French to use like a tactile tablet for, um, for research, for, um, for clinical trials. So I was supposed to help all these doctors and nurses and do some, some support and stuff like that to help my, my CEO friend. But the VP of technology would not cooperate with me because I was friend with the CEO. And mm -hmm. I don't know what was going on in his head or whatever. I went and I said, one day I said, like, I, I cannot go on. I cannot do my job correctly. I need his cooperation. I went into a session I cleared a past life we had together and where I killed him. <clears throat> um, and <laughs> I cleared the relationship bag. Was that discordant? I love that word, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that was a little discordant, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to you look know, that one up. Yeah. And <laughs> what happened is crazy is the next day, he went past um, in the, the corridor in front of my office, and usually he wouldn't stop. He came in, grabbed a chair, sat, and he said, Natalie, I heard this funny story. I need to tell it to you. 
I need to share it with you. And my jaw dropped. My jaw literally dropped. That was the first time that this guy had a real conversation with me. Hmm. Fascinating. And he so, told and you I, that I, you had murdered him in another life? Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> No, 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 it was not open to that. would be a great conversation story. Yeah, yeah. But you know, it's just like, but isn't it true that sometimes we hold some grudges on people without without knowing why? Like unconsciously, it's totally unconscious. Like I'm feeling something about someone else, but I cannot tell what it is. Mm. You know, and it doesn't matter if you don't believe in past life. You don't have to. I'm not in the business of convincing everybody. I mean, the first time I was encountered into... I encountered past life. I said, hey, I was raised Catholic and I'm French, so I don't know if I have past lives, <laughs> you know? So, but it doesn't matter. The matter is everything is energy. Right. And when you remove that energy, and sometimes we need to hear a little story. And maybe that story is just an image. Maybe I'd never killed the guy, but I, but there was a story and an energy of I harmed the guy and he could feel it energetically. And he was holding some, some anger and some frustration towards me without even knowing it. Right. And I just thought, well, I'm the friend with the CEO. You know, that's why. That's why it's happening. Yeah. Well, but know, once gonna... the energy is removed, yeah. then the problem doesn't exist anymore. If we're going to keep with this metaphor of backpacking with somebody, mm. I'm, what's, what's bringing up for me is all the years that I spent as a young person at girls camp every summer, when we would have to share a tent or a little cabin with somebody else that we may not have known well to begin the week with. Mm -hmm. And of course we, we've got, we go on these little hikes or whatever with this person. And at the end of the day, we come back and we share the sleeping space with them. Right. Well, as the week wears on, we've got mosquito bites all over us. We're tired. We, we haven't showered. So we feel ugly and all that stuff. And that energy starts to weigh on both both of these people that are sharing this, this space and we begin to argue mm -hmm. and get frustrated and have these little spats and that happens for several of the few last few days of the camp until the night before the last when we're supposed to leave the next morning all of a sudden something happens and we're like i'm so sorry i was mean to you and <laughs> you know you're my best friend and all that stuff something is resolved right when we yep. sit down and we listen to each other and so as you're talking about this natalie that's what's coming back to me is this idea that we're all kind of camping together sometimes we share certain spaces we've got all these supplies in our backpack and as it gets heavier and heavier we get more exhausted we get mosquito bites all over us and we just don't feel like ourselves and that we take that energy out on other people Yep. And they're experiencing the same things, right? Yeah. But it and might take someone else like you to come in and say, stop it, knock it off, get, get along together. You know? Yeah, <laughs> and we are accumulating <laughs> energies also. Exactly. I mean, how come we take physical showers, but we don't take energy showers mm -hmm. to remove the discordant energies of the day? Right. Right? We could shift a few times. I mean, I have, I'm teaching my, my success acceleration system. I teach people how to remove discordant energy, how to activate positive energy, how to tap into source and get your own guidance. How priceless is it to know if you need to do this marketing campaign or this one, or launch this project, or turn right, or go straight? You know, it is priceless. And, so does and it happen suddenly, or does it? Is, does this? sort of occur over several sessions with you. well everybody's different okay so some people just shift energy right away and they can feel different and they they start manifesting left and right like like you know crazy opportunities and things and some others it takes a little bit more time mm -hmm. but really the important thing is the 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 journey it's not the destination is you get freer and freer and happier and happier. And, and very soon you start seeing that there is no limits to that. Yeah. So then it's getting really exciting. Yeah. yeah. I can just imagine the little goodie bag Jackie and I have. What's in that bag, Jackie? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a lot of books that were written by our guests. 
we have a lot of golden nuggets. Well, I mean, I think back and I think about it, there's just so much cool stuff. It's almost too much, but it's all good positive stuff. So it doesn't feel like I'm weighted down. It's just all good stuff. Yeah. But even and the, the good and stuff the good can get weight. heavy though, right? I mean, even the good stuff once in a while is going to add some weight to what you're carrying. So sometimes it's, it's like I was just watching or reading a Facebook post of a friend who says, I'm cleaning out my friends because I got too many friends and I can't have, have any more friends on here. Facebook won't let me. I've reached the limit. So he's been going through a friend at a time going, you know, do I know this person or not? And so even though we have these good nuggets of information that our guests have given us, sometimes we have to kind of go through and go, okay, of these relationships, what is most important to me right now? Yeah. Or, or of these opportunities, which is going to give me, you know, the, the biggest scalable possibilities here. And so even though they're all good, you know, sometimes life isn't about the good, the bad choices. It's about the, the good or the best choices, right? And that's actually harder to make a decision on sometimes because they both seem like good choices, but you have to decide which one's the best. Right? And there is really no, no bad. It's just an experience. It's just uh, an experience. It's a book you know? in, yeah. But yeah. I'd like to go back to, you know, what's important, I think, is the power of being present. Mm. Because if you recenter yourself every day, if you make it a little practice or routine to just connect with yourself, connect with your source, mm. and then, then you ask, well, show me where to go now. Uh, what, what am I to know here? You what know, am I or, to know here? yes, and and show me who to talk to. Mm -hmm. Then you don't have to go through all your friends and every. I mean that that's that sounds yeah. hideous for me. That sounds like I'm. I, I'm it's <laughs> just I don't want to spend any minute doing that. Well, but I, I would like right to there. spend a minute centering myself and saying, "Oh, I want like show me my ten next." perfect clients where we are so interested and we fell in we fall in love together and we're creating miracles and we're partnering up and everything and if you remember jackie last time we connected you sent me an email that was not even for me and that's, oh, that's exactly right. that's exactly what happens because i connect and i'm like so show me who i'm supposed to talk to and then yeah, suddenly that's how we you got connected again. That's absolutely <laughs> and then you show up you show up in my inbox and i and i'm smiling at the universe going like you did it again yeah, and and funny. yes i we just need and i have goosebumps as i'm telling you that it's just like yeah you showed up in my inbox because we needed to connect again it was time again to reconnect so that's how i like to conduct my life right now right I'm, I'm just like let's simplify things mm -hmm. I don't have time to go through all my friends or through anything but I have time to connect for five minutes with my source and to say so what brings me closer to my goal today or show me how to have more fun today more happiness or feeling more fulfilled and let go of it right that's an important and part. then let go of it mm -hmm. and then just follow whatever crazy intention intuition i have or idea i have you know is there do you find that when you work with people is there a fear in some people that they're going to be showed something that they really don't want to do is that a possibility um sometimes there is a fear to find when we when we clear discordant things, there is a fear of oh my god, what am I going to find mm -hmm. about me? You know, or about fear of change, family. right? Isn't yeah. change in the fear group? of change and the fear of is there a an ugly little monster in my closet that that has mm -hmm. my name on it that I don't want to admit that I don't know of? Mm -hmm. But really, really, there there's no. I mean, once again, there is no bad, there is no wrong. It's just an experience. So when you start looking at the monster and you you see how cute it is, you, you, <laughs> you're gonna just embrace the monster and love it away and then it disappears, you know? So it's not a bit, I do a lot of work with archetypes too. You know, I told you about the relationship bag where we, we remove the energies and then the relationships just are restored and, and even beautified. Um, 
another thing is I, I, I do believe like Jung that we have all these little aspects of us and these personas, right? You talked about the inner child, Jackie. Yes, of course, the inner child, but I have all, also more. I have the builder, the producer. I have, um, I have, I have the a tinkerer. The, yeah, <laughs> I have the sage inside me. I have the alchemist too. Mm -hmm. I have, I have all these different aspects of me, but sometimes they can be discordant. Or not working together. Is that what you mean? No, they, they were, I'm not sure they have to work always together, but sometimes they are dysfunctional. Mm. Like my inner child can have a temper tantrum and, and stop me from working. And then suddenly I cannot move forward and I don't know what's happening and how come I cannot do my stuff. And it's because I've, I haven't given myself enough time to rejuvenate or to regenerate, or I haven't played enough with my inner child. Hmm. So then suddenly it, it transformed into that, 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 you know, temper tantrum of a two-year-old that just is stopping me from working. I'm, I'm curious. <clears throat> so do you think between those archetypes or those different aspects of yourself, <clears throat> that that discord is like two opposing thoughts? Yeah, it can be. Or it can be also, but it can also can be unconscious. Like yeah. I, I don't, like I can feel it, but I cannot pinpoint it. Uh, we're back to the blind spot. We're back to the, I don't know what I don't know. Right. Right. Fascinating. We, we get in our own way. I mean, I'm, this is not news, right? We want something. We want, we, we want, we have a project we have, or we want to make, a certain amount of money or we want to have a certain impact uh, in the world i work a lot with people that are kind of agent of change you know they 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 have a calling they have a purpose they have a mission and then they trip over themselves <laughs> <laughs> you know I and, every day over myself. you know and ask oh, me how, and ask me how i know to. right ask me how i know <laughs> because we all we, we all do it we all do that there's nothing wrong with that we all do that but what's interesting is to discover where it's coming from or what's happening at this time it's not necessarily to dwell in the past or anything like this is what is triggered right now and let's let's de-hook it and let's activate really the person of you that wants the success that has reached that goal that you want to have and reach that dream and everything this person has different qualities than the person you are right now it's a different person it's yeah. a it's an involvement of you so if you project yourself and you start feeling those new feelings and embodying those new qualities and you bring them back into the present, now you're changing yourself with ease, not with struggle. Right. You know? Yeah. But let's talk a little bit about <clears throat> change, right? Yes. Because, Natalie, there are certain things that we can <laughs> control and there are certain things that we cannot control. And yeah. You know, we have to we have to bring our mind to understand that I can control the things I control, but things are going to happen that I can't control. And, you know, we need to ease into that. And, and just like me, think I start out with a groovy day. How can I turn this around? What can I do different? How can I how can I react differently? You know, in the pre-show, you shared with us how your life has changed. Your partner yeah. has changed. And maybe we can reflect on that a little. Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, in 2020, my husband, at age 50, had two strokes. Mm -hmm. In August and in December. And my life completely changed. Because, you know, he's fine. He's, he he's, has recovered somewhat. He's not exactly the same person that, that I married. Um, and, he, and he cannot work. It's, it's way too much, too much effort for him. So 
life has changed. But in a good way. I mean, you you look at the positive aspects of it, right? I think we were talking about, you know, it might be just time to slow down and, and smell the roses. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I think that when when you have any type of change, what's going to give you sanity is to start looking at there is a silver lining or there is a gift into that. Where's the gift? You right. know, where is the gift? I mean, last time we had the conversation of, I think my my our visa got uh, denied, right? We 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 had established two businesses. 10 years in Arizona and profitable businesses and everything. We go back to renew our visa in the U S embassy in France. And the guy says, you're denied. And we're like, why on earth are we denied? Right. We have a, we have an American daughter. We have two businesses that are functioning. Our clients are waiting for us. And, and so, but so you have to, and then what saved us was, there is a bigger gift into that. We cannot see it right now, but there is right. a bigger gift into it and, and hanging powerful. on to that. And that's where also the work I'm doing with the success acceleration system, the clearing and the activation and the going into guidance to say, what's my next step is helpful because you clear all the triggers because you're it's going to trigger you when you have a big change in your life you're going to get triggered first. You're going to get through, oh my God, my life is collapsing. What do I do now? And that's going to bring overwhelm and frustration and a whole bunch of stuff. So if you can remove that energetically and then you can activate some more peace and harmony and the knowingness that life is working for you and not against you on, or something is happening for you and not to you, mm -hmm. Then you go into, okay, everything is always working out for me. I'm going to take a breath. There's a reason for this. And there's, there is a gift and I'm going to see it. Mm -hmm. At some point, I'm going to see it. And you know, to make a long story short, our visa was denied. We had a investor visa that we had to renew every five years for the rest of our lives without being residents in the U.S., and now we have found another visa because of that, that gave us the green card, that gave us residency. And in 2019, in December, we became US citizen. And that's, that's the gift. Right, because but you were on we this were, one track. Yes, but when you are in the trenches and you are denied yeah. and you cannot enter and go back to your home and to your life, you're like, where is the gift really? That sucks. Yeah. Well, in if you hadn't have been looking for the gift, right? Your head would be yes. down, your tail would be between your legs and you wouldn't be looking or, or open yes. to those possibilities. Yeah. So that's why I think one, one good little sentence to repeat, you know, I, I don't like too much affirmations. I mean, they, they are double-sided because if you, if you repeat affirmations, like if you say you're a millionaire and you're broke and you're scared and in full scarcity, you're harming yourself rather than doing anything good for you, right? But, um, but one good thing, if, if you can learn to appreciate this sentence is, if, I'm going to be fine. The universe has my back or everything's working out for me. And, and if we can get more and more familiar with this and accepting it, because mm -hmm. there is a, a level of opening ourselves to be worthy and deserving of it. But if I, can, if I can accept that everything is working out for me, then guess what? Everything's working out for me. Yeah. There are things we can control. Mm -hmm. And there are things that we cannot control. And those things that we can control, that's what we work with. But, you know, you got to look for the gift. Look for yeah, and thing. you got to go with the flow. And, and when it's too hard, let it go. Let, yeah. Like, let it, let, I have this little image of, uh, and I don't know why I'm using this because I'm French and I'm not Italian, but uh, I have this little picture of the mama in Italy, you know, on the fourth floor. And then she's, lending out down a basket on a rope and then and then the basket goes down and then i tell my clients they're just like dump all your challenges into this mm -hmm. if it's too heavy for you give it out let go of it 
like all of it, yeah. like, like, yeah. like just say that's, that's too much. I yeah. cannot deal with it. You, I mean, my, my husband having a stroke in, in the beginning, in the midst of COVID where I had to dump him on the curb at the ER because I cannot enter the hospital and, and he cannot even explain what's happening to him. Oh my <laughs> God, like, that's awesome. Okay, that's a ride, right? Uh, and then he had but, to be alone probably for a long time, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. And he was in the ICU and I had no, nobody would call me back and tell me what, what was happening. I mean, people were so busy in the hospital. It was COVID time. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, you have to, when it's too heavy, why not dump it into that basket and give it to the universe? Now you and mentioned that your husband it. has benefited by meditation or at least trainings from Dr. Dispenza. Yes, yes, yes. Time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we are, we've, we've done many different trainings, um, live training with Dr. Joe Dispenza. And, uh, and so he's, he's meditating every day, many hours. Because there may be a listeners who have also had strokes or have had or have spouses or family members that have strokes. So can you quantify how that has helped, how it's benefited him? Um, well, he, he had lost peripheral vision and the doctors thought that he could not drive anymore mm. at some point. And he loves cars. He's just like you, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't uh, fix them or repair them or anything, but uh, he loves, he loves cars. And, um, and I had a conversation with him and I said, well, what, what do you want? Do you want to believe the, the, what the doctor is saying? Or do you want to create your own reality? Do you believe you can create your own reality? He said, yes. That's powerful. Well, so then what, what do you want to do? You don't have to accept what people is, are telling you. Never, you know, ever for anything. You, you can just recenter yourself and say, well, what is right for me? What is my own truth? What is the truth I want to co-create with the universe? And then he said, well, I want to see and I want to drive. And then he started meditating and more. And, um, and, then, and then we went also. And then, of course, there is also like inspired action. So we found that ophthalmologist that was, you know, training the, the vision for the vision. He did a series of sessions like this. But when she saw him first, she's like, oh, you're going to need a long time, blah, 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 blah. Well, no, not, not so long. Hmm. You know, he had a certain levels of, yeah, there, there is retraining of the brain and of the eyes and the eyes connecting with the brain and everything. But now he's driving. Wow. Yeah. That is a great recovery. Yeah. Amazing. Fascinating. Well, the power of, the power of creating a vision, right? I yes. mean, that's, that's I where it all starts. And then that vision programs the subconscious. And when those opportunities come our way, the conscious can jump on. Yes. And, you know, I think at when we are in distress, mm. And that's to come back to your groovy word, which I had to go and translate because I was just like, what does it mean? What does that mean? <laughs> I got a funny story behind that word. <laughs> and then, the, but when you are like for people listening that are, you know, physically sick or in disease and, and, and challenges like this. If you can close your eyes and if you can imagine another state of you that is in optimum health. Mm -hmm. or if you can just trigger a little bit of feeling joy mm -hmm. or feeling peace, or maybe you cannot reach that, but you can think about someone you love and then you can bring love in your heart. Then you bring love in your heart. And from that place, you decide that you bring love to your trillions of cells in your body. Just that. Mm -hmm. And then you do it every day. And maybe you're really sick and so you cannot even move from your bed. So you have nothing else to do than to do it 10 times a day or 15 times a day. And then before you know it, you find it fun. And you're like, well, if I can do it with love, can I do it with imagining maybe white light? Mm. Or maybe can I imagine that 
I have an energy. How does it feel like? What would it feel like to have optimum health and then to spread that into my body? Mm. You know, mm. just let's play, let's co create. Yeah. It could be business, it could be health, it could be relationship, it could be money. How does it feel like to feel abundant? I mean, one thing I give to people when they, they sign up to free gifts or to sting if, if they are on in my list is I give them a meditation, like if it's five minutes, four minutes and some seconds. In four minutes, you shift from feeling lack and scarcity and, and like running with like a chicken with the, the head cut off to feeling abundant. Mm -hmm. In four minutes, wow. you just stop and you start showering yourself with money instead of water you imagine you have money falling on you and then you feel it <laughs> and then you get, money. you get playful and then you put it in your pocket you're for women you put it in your bra you just play and then before you know it you want to give it away and the more you give it away the more you receive yeah. and it's just like it's in in four minutes you shift completely your energy mm. Speaking of which, it looks like we have about four minutes left. And I want to make sure that you have the opportunity to tell us about a magical new beginning. Yes. Well, you know, I just turned 60. <laughs> so I thought, hey, I want a magical new beginning. What am I going to do for the next, my, my next 60 years now? It's a brand new slate. I can create whatever I want. What, I'm, what, what do I want? What do I want to do? So the first thing I wanted to do was to share my gifts with people. And I created a, a retreat, the magical new beginning that is completely complimentary. It's crazy. On a Friday and a Saturday, September 30th and October 1st, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Pacific, we're going to do transformational work. Mm. And I work with people that really want to step in and get a new vision and 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 what i envisioned is like it's full time surely there must be some people that say oh i need to to be i should be further along mm -hmm. i should be reaching more goals by now i mean i'm not you know in january i had all these vision and now it's september what did i do well how can we can we feel and and finish 2022 beautifully strong beautifully gracefully that's what we're gonna do. I think I think Jackie's already signed up. <laughs> I am. I am. Yeah. And Jackie has the link. So I want to remind our listeners that <clears throat> when Jackie writes the blog about this show on lifemasteryradio.net or com, the link will be there. It will also be in our newsletter. Something we didn't talk about is signing up for our newsletter. Jackie creates a newsletter every week. And it highlights who's been on the show and who's coming on the show. And of course, a blog post about the show. And that's where you will find a link to Natalie's retreat, a magical new beginning. I think that's exciting. And that will soon be up on your website. Your website is natalieekabo.com. Yes, N-A-T-H-A-L-I-E-E-K-O-B-O.com. There's an H after, there is an H after the T. It's a French way. Yeah. Nath Nathalie. No, 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 no. Ignore, <laughs> ignore it. It's a silent H. <laughs> I know. I have to look twice. At, I have to look twice sometimes. No, no, no. I know her name is Nathalie. Yes. It's been messing up my the my past 20 years of, of being in the U.S. Because well, in fact, that's like, how we reconnected. You started, yeah, you started telling that story and it's, we connected because I was sending an email to one of my students whose name was Nathan or Nathaniel, yeah. actually. Oh. And so his name came up in the address, you know, search. Quick and click. I, I clicked on it and it was actually Natalie's name. <laughs> and so she got this email that was destined for one of my students. And that's no, that was that was that was the universe <laughs> saying, hey, wait a sec, Jackie, you need to talk to her. Right. Right. I called you, I called you in, you know, that that's how a lot of my clients, that's how they, they generate even more clients and more income in their business. They, uh, they call their clients in. Oh, they're in. That's yeah. nice. And that's well, Natalie, from asking who, who do I need to talk to today? Is that who, how who yeah. yeah. Who do I need to see? Who do, yes. What do I need to know? How do I need to see this? 
that but there's more to it but it's yeah the the primary alchemy is just there you know and just let go of it show me right yeah. let go mm -hmm. just and see what happens yes yeah. don't don't attach yourself to the outcome yeah yes Natalie, thank you so much for showing up today as you. It has been a delight, just like it was the last time. Did you have a blast today? Oh, yes. I love it. When, I when am I back? <laughs> I cannot wait. <laughs> oh, thanks again. And uh, we'll be so talking much. via email. Jackie, any quick takeaways? <laughs> oh, lots of takeaways. Now, Did you have a blast? You. You're awesome. You have such great energy. And I'm going to tap you. into that more. So I'll, I'll see you at the retreat. Look forward to it. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> That's about all we have time for today. Choose to check out Natalie's retreat and... Please, please, please make it a great day because it is all about choice. Bye bye for now. Then you'll have to get stop record, I think. Stop. Not here. There you go. <clears throat> yeah. We can take all the time we want because he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's still streaming, I think. So anyway, but... <laughs> it is still streaming. Still streaming. Yeah. And I got to get my dog to the yeah. vet. Right. Thanks, Natalie. We'll be Natalie, in touch. Namaste, my friend. That was a, that was a great interview. Thank you so much, guys. Talk to you soon. I love you. Thank you. Love, love you too. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to Life Mastery Radio. Join Todd Allen and Jackie Bailey and their guests of leading authors, speakers, coaches, and entrepreneurs weekly at 10 a.m. Pacific. Learn to live a peaceful life with intentional mastery through stories and messages to support your well-being and most evocative dreams. Visit their website, www.lifemasteryradio.com. Join their mailing list and be notified about upcoming guests. That's lifemasteryradio.com.